Probability of serious injury during an attack is 2.5 times greater for women who offer no resistance to their attacker compared to women who resist with a firearm. I'll say that again. You are 2.5 times more likely to be seriously injured if you're a woman in an attack if you offer no resistance compared to if you resist with a firearm. What about if we compare those who resist with a firearm compared to those who resist without a firearm? Well, the survey found that women who resist with a firearm are four times as likely to not be seriously injured compared to those who do resist, but resist without a firearm. So at least according to that study, if you're not gonna be trained, if you're not gonna be prepared, then don't resist physically unless you have a firearm. But of course, the single best thing you can do is be trained, be prepared, martial arts, the whole bit, the whole spectrum. That's the statistically best group you can be in. But I guess that there may be some truth to that old saying that goes, God created man and Sam Colt made them all equal. A firearm is the force equalizer for people who may be weaker, slower, or suffer from some sort of disability, which includes being outnumbered by your attackers. That was about women. How do these statistics look for men? Basically the same, but with a tighter dispersion between resisting with and without a firearm. 